first one, the implementation mechanisms. How is this actually going to be implemented? Well, who has the authority to decide who's going to join this church? All decisions, religious, are made by politicians always now. What can we do? How can we be part of, uh, of supporting this, being part of the solution and, and so forth, even on the local level here? Will it, will it really help? I am not sure about it. And, and uh, maybe because I'm not Ukrainian, this is my, this is my, my approach. But, but don't you see this as a challenge? These are real social issues for people that had to be solved. And this document will change this. It's right? changed. It's done. This act is something that I think comes to many of us unexpected because we didn't think that Constantinople would ever dare to do this, given their situation. Given their situation, given the Erdogan government, given the, the money we know that is flowing in all directions from the Kremlin, given the, what, that they, they would go on to this act. They must have been pushed very, very hard. Or that uh, Patriarch Bartholomew is a person of vision willing to do what he uh, believes should be done. It also involves not a very serious matter. In the city of Lviv, there are three bishops. As you know, according to the ecclesiology of the Orthodox Church, in one city there can be only one Orthodox bishop. Uh, after all, the word for uh, an Orthodox Church in the Polish state of the 15th century was synagogue. And it wasn't said in a nice, for positive reason. So this is how these churches are viewed. Savropigia means a cross is placed and you are directly under the authority of the patriarch, right? So this gives Constantinople a stronger standing in Ukraine and then just on the, the property rights. I think, of course, the patriarch Bartholomew very wisely put this in, uh, but of course he has no control over any of these events. Uh, they are decided by Ukrainian law and Ukrainian society and social context. The Ukrainian law, as far as I understand, is not quite fully as clear because so many church properties have been given as the Lavra have in or Orenda. They have been rented out for 50 years. What is What, what are we going to do with the, the, the properties such as the Pochayo Lavra? And although we don't have full statistics, our, our guess is about 16% of the Ukrainian population attends church regularly. That is on a Sunday, Sunday basis. And of course, re it's regionally different, much higher in Western Ukraine and Volhynia and Zagorovatia. But compared to Western Europe, not compared to Poland, even with its declining religiosity, but compared to Western Europe, a very high percentage of the population is church attending in Ukraine or connected with the church. And so these were real problems. So this has, has been a tremendous step forward. And otherwise, the conflict would have continued.